Welcome to Lighthouse Kinship's devotional video. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. How? Psalms chapter 27, verses 4 and 8, NLT. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in His temple. My heart has heard you say, Come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Psalm 63, verses 1 and 2, NLT. O oh God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon your power and glory. Monica and I invite all to journey along with us here at Wolf Creek, Bogle State Park, Blairsville, Georgia. In the previous devotional of Lighthouse Kinship, Bless the Lord, O oh My Soul, the question, Where Did Love Originate From?, was clearly answered in the New Testament book of 1 John. Since the God of heaven and earth first loved us, how do we affectionately seek and bless Him? Psalm 34, verse 8, NLT. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in Him. Psalm 119, verse 103, NLT. How sweet your words taste to me. They are sweeter than honey. Taste is one of our blessed five senses our Father in Heaven graciously provide for us to enhance and strengthen our physical bodies. Without our taste buds, we would have never known sweet, sour, salty, bitter, horrible, or scrumptious. I was 18 when Bonnie and I started dating, and my cooking menu consisted of a few breakfast items, eggs, toast, bacon. Lunch consisted of sandwiches and chips, and supper, fried pork chops. For me, they were easier than chicken. Cream potatoes, black-eyed peas, and cornbread. Yes, cornbread made from my own hands. It has often been said that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. One tender, moist lemon cake was now on the menu to invigorate the stomach to melt one special man's heart. September 2024, we celebrate 47 years of marriage. Could that lemon cake have been the zest? In the New Testament book of John, Jesus gives a crowd looking for him the deeper truth of the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. John 6, verse 26, Amplified. Jesus answered, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, you have been searching for me, but not because you saw the signs attesting miracles, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. John 6, verse 48, Amplified. I am the bread of life, the living bread which gives and sustains life. John 6, verse 51, Amplified. I am the living bread that came down out of heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, believes in me, accepts me as Savior, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh, body. John 6, verse 35, Amplified. Jesus replied to them, I am the bread of life. The one who comes to me will never be hungry. And the one who believes in me as Savior will never be thirsty, for that one will be sustained spiritually. John 4, verse 14, Amplified. But whoever drinks the water that I give him will never thirst again. But the water that I give him will become in him a spring of water, satisfying his thirst for God, welling up continually flowing, bubbling within him to eternal life. Mary, Lazarus' sister, clearly understood and gave strong actions that Jesus was, is, and always will be the bread of life and the spring of living water by affectionately seeking honor and blessing her Lord Jesus Christ. John 12, verses 1 to 3, NLT. Six days before the Passover celebration began, Jesus arrived in Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man he had raised from the dead. A dinner was prepared in Jesus' honor. 
Martha served, and Lazarus was among those who ate with him. Then Mary took a 12-ounce jar of expensive perfume made from essence of nard, and she anointed Jesus' feet with it, wiping his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance. This concludes our devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. How? Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13 amplified. Then with a deep longing you will seek me and require me as a vital necessity. And you will find me when you search for me with all your heart. Hosea chapter 10 verse 12 amplified. So with the view to righteousness, that righteousness like seed may germinate, reap in accordance with mercy and loving kindness. Break up your uncultivated ground, for it is time to seek and search diligently for the Lord and to long for his blessing until he comes to rain righteousness and his gift of salvation on you. Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here at Wolf Creek, Vogel State Park, Blairsville, Georgia. Lighthouses. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Kinship. Comfort. Enlightening the eyes of your heart. Photography. Traveling. Camping. What do all these things have in common? Monica and I excitedly invite all to journey with us, not only through YouTube, but by personal appearance, church, Sunday school class, small group, church social, other activities where the Word of God is shared as we share the challenges, blessings, and adversities through the lens of the camera and God's divine Word. Please contact us by email for Monica and I to share our experiences in person. Our email address is lighthousekinshipllc at gmail.com. You can also find it in the description below. Please like and subscribe to our videos and help us to spread the gospel by sharing these videos on your social media platforms.